So every time I'm in a new city, I go out for a run and I just go and uh, see what kind of strange places I can find myself in. But this one, this one's definitely one of the strangest. Dog track, dog racing track. I don't even know what you call it. I've actually never even seen one in real life. But, I don't know. I guess that's all I gotta say about that. I am uh, a little over nine miles in. <laughs> I truly believe that this is gonna be the greatest mental battle I've ever gone through. My head right now is just a mess. It's back and forth, back and forth. I've been in, in the last five years, I've been in my absolute worst shape I've ever been. And I've been in the best shape that I've ever been. I can tell you that there's a big difference between those two guys mm -hmm. and what those two guys were doing in all other areas of, of, of his life. Um, Fitness is probably one of the biggest areas that overlaps in all the others. Um, your energy level, that confidence goes over into your, your, your business, your career, your relationships. I mean, it's, it's absolutely, it's the foundation of everything. Uh, if you don't have your health, there's nothing. See, because there's something special about walking into any room but especially like a boardroom type scenario and the people to be able to look at you and they're like, oh, got it. Like yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. that's, uh, that's different. Like yep. it commands respect. Yep. Co like the presence just commands attention because the vast majority of people out there, especially business people are just out of shape. Yeah, and they, 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 so. they, they put their body last. Yep. They put their family second to last and they yes. put everything else up front. And so for me, this idea of balance mm -hmm. It's just ridiculous, but I think it's more about going all in in all areas. Yes. And it's, it's, it's obvious to us, but not so obvious to everybody else, that if you are going all in on your body, if you're going all in on your mind and your relationships, your business is just gonna be a byproduct of that. Like, of course, you're gonna, of course your business is gonna do better when you're at peak performance physically and mentally and with your relationships. Now for me, that waging war on personal change, it was in all areas, but it started with my body. It started with my health and fitness. And I would love to say that super like altruistically that it was, you know, just one of my energy levels to be high, but I was recently single and I found myself fat and over, you know, overweight and, and not in the greatest of shape. And I was like, crap, I'm single again. <laughs> just being completely honest. It's a prime example for those around you of your discipline. Uh, and to me, that, that's, that's crucial, is for people to know that you have discipline. Um, not to just completely call out the out of shape people that are watching, but if you can't take care of your body, why am I gonna believe that you can take care of my money? Or why am I gonna believe that you can take care of whatever it is that you're saying that you're gonna do for me in a sales process or a customer service process or an entrepreneurial environment? If you can't take care of yourself, how are you gonna take care of anything else? It's crazy.